everyone. Welcome back to another keto mukbang. I'm doing lunch for you guys today. I got celery and egg whites with chicken salad. Welcome back, everybody. Good to see you. Back doing another keto mukbang. Now, I apologize I didn't have anything loaded yesterday for you guys. I'm just extremely busy. But I thought, you know, when I made my lunch today, it was nice and low fat. And it's doing, um, you know, I'm doing that keto experiment that my brother had told me about. And I thought I'll share the last day with you guys. And, of course, you're going to get a full video on that on Thursday on how to do the experiment and everything. So... Um, I'll go more in detail with that, but I thought I'll share my last um, day with you guys, just my lunch that I'm having, because it was a nice low-fat meal that anybody can have at any time when you're doing low-fat on this keto. So what I have here is a half of a can of one of the bigger cans of chicken that I've just split into half, rinsed it really good under water, and then I put on one tablespoon of mayo, and then I did three celery stalks here and put it on the celery, and then I did two Hard-boiled eggs took the yolk out and I replaced it with some of the chicken salad in there, too So this is a nice really low-fat meal great to do at any time But like I said, it's the last day of this keto experiment that my brother had told me about to drop You know like eight to ten pounds um, It starts off in the beginning really high fat and then it ends your last four days with really low fat So it shocks the system. I will explain more of that in my video on Thursday when you get that it's gonna go into detail It's gonna show pictures I'm gonna talk first in the beginning and then it's just gonna go into a slideshow of pictures of what I ate every day for the seven days and I'll explain in detail everything how to do it so everybody's gonna be different because everybody has a different body but we'll do that on that day I'll explain more on that day but right now let's just do this keto mukbang for you guys so how is everyone doing there's an egg with the chicken salad in there mmm yum and I'm just doing a little bit of salt and pepper on it just to taste Salt is fine. Be careful with pepper because pepper has carbs. I I'm sorry. I'm still in my PJs. I haven't even gotten dressed yet for the day. I've been just doing so much. been so busy. I'm just drinking water with it. I really wanted the last four days of doing this or whatever where it's really low fat. I want to make sure I drink lots of water to flush everything out too. Because you'll be really shocked... When you see the video on Thursday, how much fat you really eat. I mean, you're going to eat, you know, 22, 2300 calories for three days, but it's mostly in fats, not the, not really the carb or protein that's going to be in your meals that you'll see that I make. But it's just, I explained the whole thing. Like I said, I got to go more in detail on that video. This one here, I just wanted to do the mukbang, but everybody is going to be different. Everybody has to do it different. So um, when you see mine, you couldn't really copy mine unless you were my weight uh, my height and a female, so it's just going to be different for everybody, but it's kind of about what you're going to do. It's just going to be a little bit different for each person in each body weight because you got to watch the protein and everything. But like I said, I'll go more into that in that video. So, But me and Monica did it together, and I'm excited to do a weigh-in tomorrow to see how much we lost. I'm excited for her. She's getting so close to her one-year mark, which is September 1st of doing this. She has not had any cheat days, so she said she'd like to do this experiment with me. And my brother Rob was the one that told me about it. So, and I did try it one time and I lost um, eight pounds doing it. So I'm hoping this time I do the same, but I am lower in weight. So it might not be as much for me as it would for somebody a little heavier. So. Mm. I love celery with either chicken salad on it or tuna salad. I love it. This is a great low-fat meal for anyone 
like I said, doing the keto right now and doing it low fat, great lunch. I'm so excited. The sun is coming out. I haven't been able to tan for like four or five days. We've had all rain and just been gloomy and I need to get out there because I'm starting to lose my color. And with fall right around the corner, I won't be tanning as much. And I have a few outfits yet that I'm still going to be wearing for summer that I really want to be tan for it. So I'm going to get out and tan after I eat here. We're not even supposed to have sun right now. I'm surprised the sun is out. So I'm going to get out there and take advantage of it. It's one of those days when the sun isn't, you know, it's it's out a little bit of clouds, but when it's the white billowy clouds that roll over the sun, you actually get more tan than you do on a day where it's just sunny. Um, if it was like a gray day, then no, you're not going to get the sun like you want or whatever. But if you go out on a day like this where it's cloudy and the white billowy clouds are rolling over the sun, it's a proven fact you get more rays off of those. So be careful. I've never tried the egg with, you know, because we, we give up the egg whites when you're doing low fat. Never thought to do the tuna or chicken salad, and I saw my friend Veronica do it with tuna. And I thought, what a great idea. I don't know where I've been, right? I'm sure lots of you already know that idea. <laughs> So yummy and I absolutely love celery it's got so many good things in it for you and the fact that it's basically pure water so it will help you to get rid of fluid <laughs> my celery is really fresh so it's really loud Not doing a movie today since it's for my lunch. I am really working on hard trying to get you guys videos out, but of course, like I said, I'm going through this move and I've just been really busy, so. I will do the best I can to get videos out to you guys. As soon as this move is all done over, things will be a lot calmer and I'll be able to get more, but I promise you, you'll still get videos, but I'm just gonna do the best I can to get these out. This week, I should be able to do okay. This week coming up today is Sunday. Um, I should be able to get you know a nice weekend this week for you guys, but after that, I may have to take maybe a week off. We'll see. We're getting very close to the first. And I'm leaving around the 3rd to the 4th is when I'm going to actually go completely in with my brother. I'm getting so full, but when you do... Four days of it where you're going really low fat and you're keeping the calorie a thousand or less I mean there was a couple days in there that we were only at like five or six hundred so your stomach shrinks <laughs> and that's what really shocks your body and shocks your metabolism to get it going because it goes from so high fat that it's working so hard and then you go to eating hardly anything and it's working that hard Yeah, it's really good that way. I like it. Last egg.
Yeah, me and Monica did this um, challenge together. Like I said, I've done it before. She wanted to know about it. She's getting close to her one year, so she goes, let's do it right now while I'm getting close to that. Can we do it together? So we did. So everything I ate, basically, she ate the exact same thing. So you'll see in videos of hers, she actually did a mukbang every day of it. I'm doing a slideshow and just talking about it because I know more about it than she does, and I'll explain it more in detail. But if you want to see kind of the meals, you can go over and see. If she started on Monday of this week and did a mukbang every day. Of not all the meals she did like her lunch but then she explains uh, in a video she explains like what she ate throughout the day shows pictures So I'm getting really excited for this move, but also very nervous, you know. Like I told you before, it's a, a big change. I've always, since I was younger, lived on my own and, you know, to have to move in with somebody is a little bit, you know, hard, but also knowing the situation, you know, I got to just tell myself this time I need it and it's to help them too. And it's not permanent. Just to make things better in my life and eventually I'll be out on my own again. Well, you know, without being in his house. Last bite. Mm. Very filling. That was super good. So you just got a little sample of one of the meals. Like I said, I have a whole little video on Thursday that you will get before I do my live at 6 p.m. I will load one of the videos like I always do, and it'll be this challenge that we did here to lose weight and to boost the metabolism. So I'll explain more in that video, but like I said, it'll be talking, and then it's gonna be a slideshow. So hope you guys enjoyed this mukbang. I hope everybody's doing well. Hope you have a great Sunday. And I hope you have a beautiful week. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and the notification. And down the link in this box will be my other channel, My Angels Heavenly Nails. Please go check that out too. I love you guys very much. God bless, take care, and I will see each and every one of you in my next video. And remember to always keep it keto.